Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode I'm going to show you exactly where you can find Regenerator Slowbro. Now Glarian Slowbro is one of the brand new Pokemon we have with access now to the Isle of Armour. It is a Psychic and Poison type. It is a tricky Pokemon to evolve. You've got to have a collection of Galarica Twigs and then you need to take those to get a Galarica Cuff made and that will evolve your Slowpoke into Slowbro. If you want to know the method around that, I've already covered a video on this and I'll link it up in the top right hand corner for you now, the little eye. Just click that, it'll take you over after the video and you can see how to evolve your slowpoke so getting on to it if you want the regenerate ability then you are going to have to hunt for slowpoke in a den they are abundantly available on the beach right in front of the covenite station uh, as you enter the isle of armor but if you want to get the hidden ability, like I say, you can only get this through access to the den. Now, Slowpoke has three abilities. They are Quick Draw, On Tempo, which are its normal abilities that it gets. So if you get an On Tempo Slowpoke and you want to change that to Quick Draw, then all you need to do is give it an ability capsule. It will change it to the Quick Draw ability. But if you want that Regenerator ability on your Galarian Slowbro, then you are going to have to hunt for it in a den. And that den is what we're going to look at today and I'll show you exactly how you can get one so without further ado let's hop into our game and now our starting point is going to be if we bring the map up it is going to be on challenge beach outside the tower of waters as you can see here we are right outside it and what we want to do is it's a very close den you want to just make your way you can cut across the ocean here if you want but I'm just going to go down the path to make it easier to show you exactly where it is because there is a few dens around here and it is one specific den that we need to be locating and it is this den and you'll just be able to see a tree in the distance okay so this is the den right here i'll just pan around quickly that was a very quick pan around but you get the idea where the den is it's very close to the the tower of water uh, so what we want to do is just get rid of the water that are currently in the den and um, then we are going to have to do the reset method so we want to turn our text to normal mine is already on normal which is great i forgot to turn it back and we want to just save the game right here so we are looking for a purple beam the rarer beams we aren't requiring a red beam you won't be able to get slowpoke with its regenerate ability with the red beam it's only going to spawn in the purple beam so to do this we've done this in other guides before uh, you just want to drop a wishing piece into the den and hover over the home menu on your controller because if it's not a red beam what you want to do is come out, hit your home menu and just close the game out and then go back into it because uh, you want to really be doing this before the, the save text finishes. If the save text finishes, then it means that the den will will just, uh, you won't be able to reset on it. You'll have to go to another den, drop another wish. It means wasting wishing pieces. So doing this method just allows you to kind of scrimp on those wishing pieces, which are super valuable. And once we're back in the game, uh, we just want to try this method one more time. Hopefully we get the purple beam and not this time. So we will just continually repeat this over and over again, this process here until we get a red beam. So we finally, finally get a purple beam that we're looking for. So the next thing we want to do is just uh, before we save in front of it is just make sure that our text is turned back to fast and then we can save in front of this den and start the next process in this looking for a Galarian Slowpoke. So uh, that is not what we want. If it's not the Pokemon you want, just do the date skip glitch, uh, invite others, home menu, down to system settings, down to system, date and time, skip the day forward one, okay, and then hit your home menu back into the game, exit the den, and then you can come back into it and literally we've done this in previous videos before you just keep repeating this process until you come across the pokemon that you're looking for in our case right now it is that galarian slowpoke so we'll be back when i've cycled through a few more dens and uh, we find it okay so we've come across uh, our first galarian slowpoke in the den 
before we actually enter the den, what we want to do, because there is a chance that it might not have its hidden ability, we want to just save in front of it. So if it isn't Regenerator, we can reset the game, come back to this point, and then start skipping till the next Galarian Slowpok. So once we've saved in front of the den, for the purposes of this actual hunt, I'm actually going to use a trace user um, to detect straight away when we go into the battle if this is a regenerator slowpoke or not because right now we don't know the exact spawn rate of the hidden ability so we're just gonna have to go in and see if it is and hopefully it is and with the trace user it just quickens the the whole process up for you uh, it will trace the ability of the 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 dynamax pokemon in the den so you can tell straight away if it's the one that you're hunting for if not then we can just reset the game come back to where we were and skip on until the next one so here we go we've got our shiny god of war has traced regenerator and we got it so this is awesome news for us and this is why a trace user there are lots of trace users that you can have access to in the format so um it's nice to be able to uh just tell straight away you're not wasting your time coming into the den um and it's a really easy kind of technique for you guys to just implement yourself so we'll be right back when we beat this uh, Galarian Slowpoke. And there we go, Slowpoke has been beaten. It was a little bit tougher than what I thought it was, but at least uh, we have defeated it. We need to pick a ball to get it in. What have we got? Hmm, Nest Ball might be nice, Luxury Ball. I'd rather something, like a Dusk Ball, we'll go for. It's probably the best of our options that we've got at the minute. I really need to stock up on some new Pokeballs and go to the Cramomatic to get myself some rare Apricorn balls as well. Um, so it, this video at least confirms that the four star raids for Slowpoke do have the ability to have that regenerator ability. So that is nice confirmation for us here. You don't need to be searching for a five star, even if the five star, I don't even know if the five star Slowpoke would exist in this den. So it will be interesting to know if it does. If you do come across it, of course, uh, let me know down in the comment section below the Gifts that we get, Omorite, all always useful. Three of those, that's nice. Um, and some TRs. So that is Slowpoke Court. Now we can just take this Slowpoke, either hyper train it, give it a mint, evolve it into Slowbro, or we can breed from it, uh, like I'm probably planning to do, and uh, hopefully try and get a shiny Slowpoke as well. And then we can. Um, get a really good IV natured one but there we go there is the regenerator ability slowpoke so it is actually obtainable in the games my friends and uh, I hope you have a lot of success finding it and find this guide useful for getting regenerator slowbro or regenerate a Galarian Slowbro in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, so that about wraps it up, my friends. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. If you found this guide useful, please drop a like on the video. It really helps the channel out, the video out. It lets me know at the end of the day that you're enjoying and find these sort of videos useful. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe and uh, we'll wrap it up there. So have a great rest of your day, my friends. Whatever you're up to, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Be kind to each other and I will see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.